Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your singles love reading for Aries. How are you guys, single Aries? Let's see what's happening here with you guys. New love prospects or connections? For Aries, new love prospects or connections? Who's interested in you heading your way? Aries, three cards here. Okay. Yeah, you may have a choice. <laughs> some of you may have some kind of a choice. You may be making a choice to move away from one person. You're being a little cautious, probably playing it safe. So I feel it's just an energy of just playing it safe in your choices. Uh, I do feel that there is a person here you could be growing closer with, but you could be moving away from one person and moving towards another. So see the need for caution. Take the time to get to know someone. Okay, so it's about making choices. Learn about somebody. And it does look like, you know, some of you may have a person here who may not be showing their true self. So, you know, like I say, it's about playing it safe, taking the time to get to know someone, making good choices. Yeah, so I do see the birth of something new here. Beautiful. And you have, yeah. So this is why you want to make sure you take time to get to know somebody. You may have a person here, um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Could be lessons you've also learned from the past where you may be doing this, you see. Uh, I, I feel it has to do with, you know, this energy of just kind of waiting here. You have a person who kind of rushes in here. Make sure someone's decisive. They know what they want. This is often a person who rushes in, but it's also an energy of playing it a little safe. This is often a person, like I say, they're decisive, um, but you may have learned from the past that some people change their mind, you see. It's a person who chooses their words, chooses their battles. If you have Gemini in your chart by any chance, you may be in that energy. But I see the birth of something new. So I feel as though with the Three of Wands, you're just kind of looking out there. I feel as though you're going to kind of keep looking, okay? Um, maybe just waiting to see what happens with someone. You may decide to move away to avoid a disaster because of lessons you learned from the past. Someone's not showing their true self, see? It's a person who has a tendency to keep things to themselves. So like it says, just take, just take some time to get to know them first. I feel before you make a decision. Okay, this is your this is the Empress energy. This is that energy of, you know, being um, grounded and practical, very much like the Queen of Pentacles energy. But this is the energy of learning the lessons from the queens. <laughs> You've learned a lot of lessons here, you see. So it's really about just, you know, staying really balanced here. You know your worth. You know your value. So you may have had a situation with someone who changed their mind, and it's possible you could as well. So that's why I feel it's an energy of just kind of, you know, uh, waiting here. If somebody keeps you waiting, okay, they may not be showing their true self, but do take the time, you know, learning those lessons, things you already know, okay? Uh, but I see the possibility of choices for some of you. Just kind of, you know, looking out there while you're kind of waiting. I feel as though you're pretty grounded with the Empress energy. I don't see any real rush, um, but I do feel like there's an energy. This is an energy of something you've learned, okay? To be decisive, make sure you also know what you want, but be a little cautious. It's just an energy of playing it safe. Yeah, it could be the person coming towards you as well. In that energy, not everyone shows their true self. Yeah, see? This is the person who offers that cup. You know, <laughs> so someone who offers a little cup. Yeah, they want to get to know you more, but this is why you need to, because they're coming in as a page. So, so this is a person, like I feel, you've learned, yeah, see? So this could be someone who's being a little sneaky, telling you a story. So if you have that energy where, you know, you're going to feel this more than likely. Because if the Empress is here, it means you've already learned some of these lessons. It's about knowing when to move away, Okay. But I feel like you've got a choice here. And it could be another person who has a choice too. Uh, but this is a person often, you know, this sneaky energy. It's a person who maybe, you know, is, takes a little time to figure, they need more time to figure you out as well or what to say, how to communicate. So it goes both ways. But I feel as though you already, you kind of already know from lessons that someone here is being a little sneaky. Yeah, they're not telling you everything. They're keeping a lot of things to themselves, and they may have choices. So, yeah, see, very wise. There is some of that uh, Libra energy with the Empress, or some of you may have some Gemini energy in your chart. 
There may be Aquarius, but you're speaking your truth. You're speaking up. You're being discerning. So this is energy of just being wise, right? Now asking the questions you need to ask. If so you if this person doesn't communicate the way you need, they're holding back. This is and this is the energy of being cautious, right? Yeah, I I feel as though you got a person who isn't showing their true self, and it could be because they're shy. So that's why it says you know just kind of wait and see what happens. Yeah, see, it's an energy of the truth. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I see some of you have maybe multiple opportunities or you may feel like this person does. OK, so it's just saying to take some time to get to know them, stay in the Empress energy. In other words, keep offer this person one little cup, you know, the same. OK, don't give them too much of yourself because you've learned. Yeah, don't you don't have to reveal everything about yourself right away, but it's a transition, right? Two people getting to know each other, moving forward closely uh, and forming a bond here. So uh, this is where I feel like you're you're starting to understand some of these things. But this looks like some incoming energy. It could be someone who just comes on a little too fast or too strong. OK, so that's interesting. But that's that little aha moment where you're going to something's going to make you go, aha. <laughs> you see this is often a person who just wants to win so they're cautious they're careful what they say so yeah some of you may even have multiple opportunities or you may have this realization that they do it's somebody who keeps you waiting so we all know when someone keeps you waiting you know they start something and then they you know, sort they they you don't know, hear from them for a while Okay, so uh, that's an energy where you're only going to wait for so long you might even set some boundaries here yeah, just kind of, like I say, probably just keeping your options open a little bit, not really getting, you know, too attached to someone here. But we know that the lover's card is about um, a bond between two people, you see. So it's about taking the time to get to know the transition period when something starts. So, yeah, see, it has to do with it taking two people to build. And this is somebody who, like I feel, they're not really putting in a lot of effort. It's an energy of someone who probably wants you to be. I do feel that they could be just shy uh, and somewhat apprehensive here, you see, because they're keeping things to themselves. But this is also a person who really kind of wants you to put in the work. They want you to indulge them. So now I think you're going to have a realization, whoever this is. Yeah. Could be somebody that you work with. Okay. Yeah. See, that's an energy. This is what you want. See, friends first. <laughs> just kind of keeping it that way until you get to know them more. And it's just about being honest and open, okay? That's where I feel. Just let this person know because we know the Queen of Swords puts up boundaries. Yeah, see, it's about building a foundation. This is two people getting together, talking, getting to know each other's, um, you know, uh, family history, you know. Uh, but there is this reason to celebrate here. So look at that, the strength. See, this is you teaching someone how you want to be treated right off the get-go. If they come on too fast, too strong. But yet, this is the passionate energy. You see, somebody who's in a little bit of a hurry. But they're not really putting in a lot of effort. But yet they're they, they're definitely interested in rushing towards the physical. So this is why it's telling you that with this person, they're coming in as the page of cups. Yeah, I feel it's your you know yourself not so sure, and you know it's also an energy of knowing yourself. Okay, within knowing yourself that you could change your mind. So this is why you want to just take a little time. So I do see a little Leo energy. I actually feel some of you have some kind of a choice here. Uh, and I feel like some of you are going to move away from someone. Uh, it's going to, you know, it's likely something that's going to start and you're. it's likely not going to really go anywhere. Uh, but I do see this choice. See, it's about the soulmate connection, friends first, connecting on an emotional level. You see, this person's not really connecting on the emotional level. They're in a hurry to uh, connect on the physical. They're not really wanting to put in the effort because it takes two people to build. So, yeah, I don't think you're going to be waiting around for this person. And if you are, you're still looking elsewhere because we know that Empress energy. Kind of just, you know, you may be... Um, just kind of, you know, curious, choosing your battles, making a choice. You're not going to rush to any conclusions either. But I see the energy of strength, okay? So somebody who probably lacks the strength and the confidence. Yeah, but it's your strength and confidence, as I feel, is where you'll make a decision. You need to be confident. I don't think you can be confident with this person, okay, that they're the right person, worth putting in that work. 
Yeah. You want somebody, you know, it's an energy of building a foundation. Two people getting to know each other's histories, families, you know, just talking, communicating, being on the same page. So, yeah, you could have somebody that you work with or somebody in your neighborhood. It doesn't look like anybody far away. Let's have a look at this Knight of Swords. There we go. Yeah, we have the lover. See, making a choice. See, this is, I feel this is could be connected to yourself, but it could be the other person as well. So I feel some of you do have a choice. Some of you, I do feel, you know, if you don't feel that strong connection, even after a little time of getting to know someone, it's where you have to be strong and brave yourself, okay, to make the right choice, especially if you're someone who changes their mind after a while. Okay, so this is the lessons you're learning, I feel, about self. But this is a connection. I feel like you've got some kind of someone else here. Okay, yeah. So it could be an energy, too, while you're waiting for this person. And just sort of, like I say, being wise, learning about this person, needing more time to get to know them. Um, and they keep you waiting. Yeah, you're likely going to meet another person. I don't think you're going to sit around and wait. Technically, uh, it's an energy of, you know, because I feel that you're probably getting attention from other people. <laughs> but I actually feel this could be somebody here who is in that energy as well. Because I'm seeing this, I feel this back and forth kind of energy where you're sharing the same energies, different reasons. Uh, but I feel here with the lover's card, uh, if you have someone who has been indecisive in the past, okay, and changed their mind, that's why you're going to be discerning. But you also may have some of this energy with that Queen of Swords, okay? Yeah, just being wise, being discerning, just questioning this person, telling them what you'll accept and won't accept. But, you know, I feel it with the Empress energy in, in a kind way. The Empress is, uh, oh yeah, you got really strong Gemini energy here. Really, really strong. Three cards, uh, plus the Knight of Swords. And it really could be your own energy, but it's about manifesting, see? This is an energy, there's a little mirroring here, which is interesting. Uh, I actually feel like you have, there is going to be a strong connection with someone. Uh, I do feel it's an energy of choosing your battles, what's worth working for, you see? But I feel the other person that this, you've got two energies one of them like i say is apprehensive the other one's more confident yeah yeah so that's interesting a little leo gemini it doesn't have to be it can be just the way this person comes in so there you are while you're waiting so you're still manifesting but this is an energy of two people who are similar uh, two people who are confident okay to make a decision if you have somebody here where you feel like they're not that confident you know, if someone doesn't come in confident about knowing what it is they want, like I say, that's where you, uh, I feel you're going to figure this out yourself, that they're not, probably not the right person. So yeah, see, manifesting a new opportunity. This is building the foundation, starting things off right. Uh, it is possible some of you may have uh, connected and met somebody here who's in this energy, apprehensive, keeping all their feelings to themselves, not really sharing a lot about themselves. Okay, they want you to indulge them. I feel like it's where you don't indulge that, okay? Right off the get-go, because you're teaching someone, okay, how you want to be treated here. So, yeah, I feel like you have another opportunity. But for some of you, and it feels not as, it's not strong, this person could um, actually find that confidence, okay? So watch your words a little bit, okay? Just sort of be patient to kind of see what happens. I feel this is what it's telling you. But, you know, it's okay to, to kind of keep looking if you meet someone else. Some of you very well may meet someone while you're waiting for this person to become more confident. But someone confident's coming in. See, it's an energy where it's about meeting your match, right? Somebody with that strength, confidence uh, to choose their battles, right? Uh, I feel it's an energy of... Um, Somebody definitely not wanting you to get away, that's for sure. Yeah, see, but still playing it safe, being a little cautious. I feel it's also an energy of both people getting what they want. Because I feel this person up here is someone who wants you to give to them. They want you to indulge them. They want you to do the work. They want you to be the one to uh, start the conversations, to invite them over, to do everything, right? And they're not. And this is why I feel it's a been there, done that energy. And that's where I feel that little light bulb goes off with that Ace of Swords. It has to do with seeing the truth, okay? So I definitely can feel there's somebody coming in. I feel like you're going to stay in that cautious and just kind of wait to see how it goes. But I see someone offering you something pretty solid here. 
things getting off on the right foot. But it, like I say, for some of you, it could be this person where it didn't get off on the right foot, okay? Uh, because of their lack of confidence. Somebody who rushed in or rushed out, maybe too hasty. Um, but it's also telling you not to be too hasty, okay? Uh, choose your words. Choose your battles, what's worth working for, what's worth building. So there you are, yeah. See, it's an energy of someone being compatible. And the things that you have in common, common energy. Um, so it has to do with, you know, being compatible. So someone here may not be compatible. So this is you just being wise, being discerning. And the light bulb goes off. I'm not so sure. Like I say, take a little time to get to know them first. Because we know the Empress is all about being fair and balanced. But yeah, I feel like you're going to manifest someone else. In fact, I see someone manifesting you. And I do see a communication here uh, coming in. Because I see possible multiple opportunities, things speeding up. But yeah, you're moving away from someone who doesn't want to put in the effort towards somebody who's willing to put in the effort is what I feel for a lot of you. Tell me about the eight of... Wands, yeah. See, this person's making you feel a little guarded. See, you got your guard up a bit, and that's when you know, right? So this is that energy of not being able to believe this person, okay? So I don't think you're going to let your guard down too much, okay? It's possible with the Queen of Swords, you may need to a little, but I feel it has to do with this person as well. So this is where if someone doesn't put in the effort, it's very hard to believe them. So you may have, you know, kind of stand up to this person a little bit too. It could be just an energy of someone who doesn't put in the effort. They keep you at an arm's distance. But to be honest, I feel like it's you that's going to do that. Okay? Yeah. In fact, you might even block somebody. If you have someone who, who comes in very quick out of the blue and they want to come over right away, right? <laughs> they want to rush towards the physical connection before you've even um, learned anything about each other, before you even know each other uh, very well. So this is why you're moving towards someone more compatible. Yeah, I can see some emotional fulfillment here. Yeah, you. I, I feel like you know with that Empress. So looks like a couple of opportunities. Yeah, look at this. See, and this is about making a good decision. Okay, the judgment. This is that where you see, but it's also about being fair. Okay, in your judgment of somebody. That's why I feel for some of you, things are just going to get off on the wrong foot. So, and that could be yourself. Maybe, you know, like I say, could be yourself kind of pushing this person away by being too, a little too harsh, too heavy, uh, making a decision too soon of what this person's intentions are. But for most of you, I feel the, your, the decision you make is going to be the right one. It's about going down that path with someone who's a little more compatible. Now, it's hard to say where to go. I feel like it's telling you you need time to get to know them before you actually make the decision. But I see there's this Mercury energy here with a, a conversation of manifesting things starting off on the right foot. See, solid. It's about building a proper foundation. This isn't a, a way to start things off on the right foot. It's not built. There's no foundation. Okay, because no effort's being put in because it takes two people to build. So you're going to choose the person, I feel, who puts in the effort. And I still feel like, you know, it's not necessarily going to lead to a committed relationship. It's just going to be that building. Okay, being a little cautious, playing it safe, offering this person so much, giving them something they want. You see, this is someone who kind of wants you to give them what they want. They don't really want to give you anything. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah, so this person, there's a fish in the cup there. You know, they may tell you a story or someone who has a lot of excuses. And, you know, they just kind of come in out of the blue, you know, a little too flirty in some ways. They come on a little fast. That's what I feel more than anything. They're more like in a rush to connect on the physical. Yeah, so th this is what you want as somebody who's emotionally mature. See, your decision is choosing someone emotionally mature. Uh, I feel it's an energy, could be a reconciliation. If you have, did date someone here and something didn't start off right, they could come back around, okay? But I feel it's just your decision with the, some Libra energy here with the Empress is to release this other person. It's just, it's not worth putting in the effort. Too much work, right? Yeah. But this is a person who's generally mature, who will put in the effort and the work, you see? Yeah, 
Interesting energy. But yeah, I, I feel here that the judgment, the decision is uh, the King of Cups, somebody who connects on the emotional, someone who's emotionally mature, available. They let you know they're available. But yeah, definitely some of you, it could be a person coming back around. Things didn't get off on the right foot because they were uh, shy. They lacked the confidence. So let's just have a look at that scenario. Uh, so why did this person not have the confidence? Yeah, they felt like there was not a lot of hope. You know, and what I can see here, yeah, this is, and they, this is someone who probably kind of regrets that energy. Um, but it's more than likely a person who lacked the confidence. Okay, they kind of felt there was no hope. Why? Because we have the Empress energy. So this is somebody who was kind of thinking negative. More than likely that you wouldn't be interested in them. So it's more than likely a person who rushed in and rushed out. Okay, they came in, they made a choice to move on to avoid a disaster. It could be because of this energy, the Queen of Swords. <laughs> Sometimes the Queen of Swords, like I say, is a little too judgmental. So really watch that. Okay, because we know with the Empress, I and mean, it's possible maybe you've learned something from this yourself. You may take the things that you've learned from this and apply them here, okay, with this person. Whether it's the same person and some kind of reconciliation or, you know, I don't really see that there was some kind of relationship here. I feel it's more like it started off with someone not sharing a lot of their feelings, emotions, keeping things to themselves, hoping you'll indulge them. It's somebody who always has excuses. They keep you at arm's distance. And I, I feel they have regret for those of you where it is someone coming back in. I do think things started off on the right foot. This person wants to offer you something stable and reliable, okay? Building the foundation, because there's no foundation here, okay? Whether it's uh, one person or two, you're moving towards someone who's uh, mature, Okay, uh, making better choices, choosing your battles. I feel like you had a person who rushed in and out, some of you. But, you know, the funny thing is, though, is when you've experienced this, people coming in too fast, too strong, they move too quick, they're flirty, and they don't really take the time to get to know you, or they don't want to. And if you don't indulge them, they just, you know, push you away, block you. So if you have someone who is around you like that, Okay, take the lessons that you've learned, whatever they may be, to maybe watch your words a little. Don't be too judgmental, okay, of someone who's apprehensive or shy. Sometimes things do start off on the wrong foot with people who are in that energy. They may have experienced something similar, okay, um, someone who pushes them away. So, because this is someone here, I feel, who... You know, they kind of feel like there's not a lot of hope here. So, but I do think it's someone who's pinned down by their thoughts. They need to release that. It's kind of a negative energy. See, the person with the, the cup half empty instead of the cup half full. So, and the lovers, yeah. See, it's about looking back at all this hard work. So, this is why most of you, I feel the decision is to put this person behind. Okay, yeah. It's also, but like I say, it's a person who's given up hope, like they never meet someone. Then they have this Empress energy and they have that sort of a negative uh, feelings that it won't go where they want it to go. So, but you know, like I say, playing it safe, being cautious. We know the King of Cups can be someone who's a little cautious how much they share at first until they get to know someone. But yet, if they're still in that energy of rushing towards the physical, they won't connect on the, on the emotional level and share, you know, their feelings, their likes, their dislikes, and what it is they want, if they want commitment, if they won't share these things with you. Um, and they always have excuses or you feel they're pushing you away, that's when you'll know to move on. Okay, it's not worth the work. So, yeah, I, I, I think what you have is a lot about learning here in this reading. The things that you've learned in the past to be discerning and wise, but also to be more like the Empress, kind and compassionate and, and, and very good. The Empress is gracious you see, and patient, uh, within reason, but not someone who waits around forever. Yeah, more than likely some of you, with the birth of something new energy, you're, you're still manifesting as you put this behind, okay? Yeah, you know, you've given up on this person, <laughs> and then someone else comes in, yeah. See, it has to do with commitment, marriage, somebody coming in right. So that's why I still feel a lot of you, you know, I still feel some of you have that, 
energy of someone who things got off on the wrong foot. They came in all wrong, um, too fast, too fiery. Um, yeah, you may have stood up to them. It's possible. So, you know, if you are waiting for this person, it's, it is possible they could come back around uh, and build that proper foundation, start things off right. But I'm not seeing a fresh new start here, which is interesting. Uh, I'm more seeing an energy of, I do see emotional fulfillment, somebody putting themselves out there, opening up emotionally, but it takes two people putting, both people need to put those cups on the table and share their feelings, their likes, their dislikes, what they want, uh, what they, you know, where they see themselves in the future, their hopes and dreams, all these things. And of course, not all at once. It's a transition. See, because we have this energy of the Six of Swords, this moving forward calmly and peacefully, taking the time to get to know someone, right? Just the transition, you know, not rushing. And then you have this rushing, hurry, hurry energy. So you can see the difference here between these two energies. That's why some of you, it's a, someone coming back, uh, trying again. They have a little regret, okay? It's a person who's releasing and healing, just letting go of that negativity. Um, but yeah, I and some of you, like I say, just about giving up, ready to start looking elsewhere, and then they will possibly hear they come. Uh, others of you, it's someone new. Uh, it's going to start with a conversation. It's going to start off pretty solid. Again, I still feel it's a, the energy of someone who's being a little cautious. Okay, But I feel like it's yourself too, being a little cautious with the Empress. Only offering so much at first until you're sure. <laughs> That's why you're mirroring. There's this mirroring energy. See, it's about balance between two people, being emotionally balanced. So this is what it wants you to look at, is the balance between you. Now, that you know, it's an energy where there needs to be balance. See, somebody here is not balanced. They come in fast and fiery. They want to rush towards a physical connection. They want you to do all the work. They probably want to come to your house. You know, it's just too fast. That's why I feel the sword goes up. But there's still something there to be learned, okay? Yeah, it's all about how you communicate as well here. So, but is that what you've learned um, in this experience is going to be different for each of you, okay? But it all ends up in that Empress energy, learning all the lessons. Yeah, I feel it has to do with balance between the physical and the emotional and also the communication, yeah, somebody more emotionally balanced and mature. This person's, you know, I mean, sometimes it starts this way with someone like, hey, do you want to go for a lunch? Do you want to go for a cup of coffee? You know, um, but there's something there, I feel, that kind of gets your guard up, okay? Um, maybe you've only had a few conversations or maybe you ha went for a drink or lunch with this person and all of a sudden they want to rush towards the physical. So I feel it's about taking more time. Yeah. All right, Aries. Yeah, you've got you've got a connection. You've got some um, some love coming in. You have a person who's mature. Um, some of you, it's a reconciliation. Others of you, uh, it's just your judgment and decision and making a choice, eh? Because it, it is always your choice. It's always your decision. Okay. So that's why the Empress is here. Um, if somebody keeps you waiting and they. You know, you want to get together. They never invite you to their home. Whatever the issues are, um, you no longer wait. You allow this other energy in. Because if you're manifesting love, you have the tools, the information. You have everything you need, you see. You don't need to rush, too. That's what it's telling you. You don't really need to rush. But this person is also manifesting. Having the tools, having everything they need to know because they actually take the time to get to know you. See? person becoming more decisive so there it is your inner wisdom your inner knowing so it's telling you you'll know okay you're going to know uh, and i do see that with the aha moment here okay the light bulb going off <laughs> where you make a decision most of you i feel it's a, a most of you are going to move away from that one person um, others of you like i say you may just wait and kind of see what happens here you may meet someone new while you're waiting or this person may just about when you're ready to move on they may come back around okay yeah coming in different though definitely but it's always your decision just be wise trust how you feel okay if it feels right yeah it's okay to wait a little bit uh, if it doesn't 
take the lessons you've learned and move on. <laughs> Apply them to the next. Yeah, most of you, it's a definitely a next energy. Okay, take care and we'll see you soon.